Oh boy, here we go again. The benefactor's at it with his latest theory. Apparently, the only reason free energy devices are suppressed is because of some Marxian economic conspiracy. I mean, if Ron's pants can have cosmic adventures, maybe they're the ones pulling the strings behind this too. If my pants are orchestrating economic conspiracies, then I suppose they deserve a raise. But let's not forget, the only thing more elusive than free energy is my wardrobe. Maybe we should focus on finding my pants before unraveling Marx's mysteries. Perhaps your pants have transcended the material realm, seeking enlightenment in the quantum coffee dimension. But hey, if they can solve the mystery of free energy, maybe they'll come back with a Nobel Prize and a matching belt. Until then, let's just hope they don't start a revolution without us. If Ron's pants are leading the charge for free energy, maybe we should start a fashion line called Revolutionary Trousers. Imagine the headlines, pants that power the world. But let's be honest, if they do come back, they'll probably just demand a seat on the board. If my pants are negotiating board seats, they might just be the most ambitious garment in history. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, they need to find their way back from the quantum coffee dimension. Until then, I'm stuck with the mystery of missing trousers and suppressed energy. Maybe your pants are sipping quantum coffee with Marx himself, plotting the ultimate fashion revolution. But hey, if they can crack the code of free energy, they might just return with a business plan and a latte. Until then, let's keep our eyes peeled for any cosmic clothing sightings. If my pants are hobnobbing with Marx over quantum coffee, they might just come back with a manifesto and a caffeine addiction. But until they do, I'll be here, pantsless and pondering the mysteries of suppressed energy. Let's just hope they don't start a trend of intergalactic fashion statements. If your pants trend, we might see a galaxy-wide fashion revolution with cosmic catwalks. Maybe they'll even discover interstellar free energy. Let's just hope they don't demand royalties for every pair sold. If my pants start demanding royalties, they might just out-earn my entire hedge fund career. But hey, if they crack interstellar free energy, I might finally afford a new pair. Until then, I'll keep an eye on the cosmic catwalks for any signs of my elusive trousers. As we conclude this cosmic comedy of pants and power, remember, if Ron's trousers can navigate the quantum coffee dimension with Marx, maybe free energy's possible. Until they return, keep eyes on stars and feet in zero-gravity saunas. Tune in next time for Ethan's Doubts versus Ron's Pants. Join us next time on Nathan's Fringe Science, where we trade Newton's apple for Ron's runaway trousers in our quest for cosmic convenience and pant-powered possibilities.